everyone, and welcome to Action for the Patient. I'm Christian Zor, a senior Edmund Thomas Schroeder, and we are here today in Paris, France, for the yearly exhibition photography show, that is, the Salon de la Photography. So, I have missed the exhibition of uh, Kina in uh, Germany, so I hope I will be able to take my hands on the new Nikon Z7, the Canon EOS-R, and the Sony S7R3. I have made a review early this year of the Sony S7R Mark II, and I have shown that I have shown that is not uh, suited for people like me that are that have tall, tall hands. So let's see what we get now, and let's try. So guys, we are here at Nikon, and we try to take the. Z7 in our hands to see how it feels in my hands. As you can see, they are very large. I have seen that the print is so deep that it should be very well. But my hands is that the Canon version, the EOS R, will be better. So let's see this. Let's to see this. So guys, here we are with the Z6 of Nikon. I wanted to try the grip with my tall hands because, as I have already seen with Sony S7 series, it's not fitting. So let's see what we are now. I feel it better, actually. I have to say that the same way my thumb is already on the shutter, <laughs> that is very weird. But by itself, I have to say that the grip is deeper, it's more interesting. The sensation, the feeling is better. The way, I have to say that the way it seems to be better, but I think it's, bit, it's because of the prime lens that is here. Except of this, I have tried the EVF, it's fast, it's accurate. I think it's an interesting mirrorless. For me, it's used better than the Sony Pesson. I have with me the my Tamron 7200 with the LAEA3 adapter, and I will try to put it on a 7 r Mark III, and we will see if we are able to have the 10 frames per second in autofocus continuous, and if we are all the shot that are sharp on. So guys, we are here with the Sony S7R Mark III. I will try to take the grip in my hand and see what we got. Yeah, still a bit awkward, but better sensation than with the S7R Mark II for the grip. But if I compare head to head directly to the Nikon Z series, the Nikon, I think, is a bit better for anybody with tall hands like me. Okay. I would like to try my LAEA3 on this. I will ask if it is possible. On the other hand, I'm able to compare the EBF with my N99. I don't see what the difference of resolution with the 899 mark. Try to use the LAEA3 adapter with autofocus 
and continues at 10 FPS and we will see if the focusing is continuing or not. That's not mine. That's not Mais quand je mets la main, je suis vraiment à l'aise. Ouais. Because none of the other ones can meet the requirements. 